Screen writers use numerous tools to make their story more compelling. It can be a satire, allegory and in this case red herring. What is red herring and how is it used in your story? Let's go. A red herring refers to a literary tool used by writers to distract, manipulate or trick the audience. It works great for a twist in the ending, but it can also be as subtle as a prop for hinting at something still not clear. Let me give you an example. Take scene into picture. You show a man opening the drawer and taking out a gun. The audience assumes that this man is a killer or some murder is about to take place. But just then, the man pulls the trigger and instead of gunshot, we see flames. The audience becomes inquisitive and comes to know that the gun is actually a cigarette lighter. That's a very basic example of red hair. The audience follows a false trail. There can be many ways to include a red herring in your screenplay. Number one. The first one is a food and it. In a murder mystery where a crime has been committed and everyone is a suspect. In movies like Ittifaq, Race, we don't know what the motive of the characters are. We don't know who is right and who is wrong. The audience is given false hints and information which makes them confused and keeps them hooked to the end. This works very well for murder mysteries. For example, Dawn. The whole story takes a different turn. It turns out to be a massive trick on the audience and we come to know that the real Dawn has escaped. Number 2. Through an unreliable narrator. A narrator who is born to mislead the audience makes for a compelling story. The audience feels confused and wonders should it trust the narrator or not. This is great for keeping the audience at the edge of their seats. Take for example, Mardani part 2 in that narrator is unreliable. He is a criminal. The reasons that he gives are totally baseless. It is like sharing the ride with a creepy passenger. This helps in tricking the audience. Number 3. Through unique casting choices. trick the audience through unique casting choices too. When Kajol played the meek and lovable Isha Diwan, who would have thought she would turn out to be a killer? This viewed the audience's mind by watching book. Not even the particular film, since the start of her character, Kajol had been playing the role of a romantic interest. Her on-screen and off-screen persona tricked the audience. Take the case of Urmila in Khan. She was a big star at that time, cast against relatively new Manoj Vajpayee. She was presented as the vulnerable rich girl living alone. The audience almost felt protective of her when she was around Manoj Vajpayee. But bam, she turned out to be the killer. So if used in the right way, even something as simple as thoughtful casting can be wonders. Even the very recent Sonuke Tukki Sweetie, we see Alok Nath and we instantly think that he will be the Adarsh Babu stereotype. But his cool, I don't give a damn attitude worked wonders for the movie and had the audience in splits. Number 4. Create an emotional catharsis. Movies can create an emotional impact using their theory. For example, in the movie Masan, the story leads towards doom. If every event hints at the impending doom, but the ring is found at the end and everything becomes all right. So you can use these tools to make your story screenplay more compelling. Found this video helpful? If you did, please consider subscribing. I'm Ashna Khan and I thank you so much for your time.